Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 Wii Review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles, a game I should have looked at about a year ago but I've kept forgetting, so here we go now. So, at the start then, you Resident quite simply Evil. choose your save file. Um, just on that then. Uh, you can then go on to a whole heap of different options. You can check your Wi-Fi connection rankings, which that's all it is. It's basically a leaderboard. You can go on to Secret, which, well, once you've unlocked it, and I will show it off. You can go on to Options, where you can pretty much customise absolutely everything. You can play the game with a zapper, obviously, if you want to. Personally, I can't stand it. You can choose Screen Setup, things like that. Reload Adjustment, the game's difficulty. Customise is where you customise the game's weapons, once you find it you keep it and then you get money from doing well on game, well not games, on uh, missions and that's when you upgrade things, so this is the fully upgraded pistol and it basically increases the rate of fire and the power, you can just do things like that and it's uh, quite effective and quite noticeable, it's just... Uh, really a shame that you don't really get that much money so you're best off going for your handgun because you've always got infinite ammo and it's the main thing that I find myself using. Archives, there's all sorts of unlockable stuff you can do, character portraits, enemy portraits, items, text, movies, voice titles, things like that. Stuff that if you're a diehard fan you'll be interested in, other than that you won't be. Score is just local scores really. Um, and then the actual chronicles. There is a hell of a lot of gameplay with this. You've got the Memories of the Lost City, the Game of Oblivion, Operation Javier, and then uh, another part of Operation Javier. And there's basically, um, I think, it's eight chapters on this one. Then I think it's eight again on Oblivion, or no, seven on Oblivion. Then five on Javier with two unlockable for Javier. So eight, seven, seven. You're getting a lot of chapters and a lot of gameplay. But. Uh, it's only really if you actually like the game, like with pretty much everything, because the gameplay never changes, it's always an Unreal shooter, so unless you actually like them, then, well, you're going to get bored pretty quick. You quite commonly get a choice of character, and then you also get a choice of weapons, you can set yourself up with uh, four different ones, again, it's always great to take the pistol, to be fair, I don't even know if you can remove the pistol, it's something I've never tried, because I would never get rid of it, quite frankly. Because again, infinite ammo, because all your other ammo stockpiles over the missions. So if you don't use the bolt gun over there like that for a long time, then you amass lots of ammo. Whereas if you, I've been using the rocket launcher, I've got one rocket left. So let's go and actually show some gameplay of them. So, as I say, it's an Unreal shooter, uh, but it's set in the Resident Evil universe. The story's pretty good, especially if you like Resident Evil, which I do. I've been a big fan for a while. The only downside to the story, really, is that the majority of it revolves around Leon. And I know there's going to be people going, but Leon's the best. Well, that may be in your opinion. I hate him. I've always hated him ever since Resident Evil 2. I think he's one of the worst characters they've brought into it, and I can't believe they've hitched the wagon to him, when, personally, I think the Redfields have a much better story. So... Anyway, as I see it, Unreal Shooter, there's some sections like that there where, to be fair, I wasn't getting attacked so you wouldn't really have noticed, but there's some sections where on co-op only one of you can actually fire, so you have to watch each other's back if you're on co-op. You can play the game single player, but it, it's like all light gun games really, it's better in co-op, at least I think so, I don't enjoy the games on single player which is where the game's faults come into play, but I'll mention that when I'm actually showing it off. So. Well, I don't really know anything I can say other than what I've already said. If you've never played an Unreal Shooter, the whole point is your characters move for you, you just point and shoot. The zombies and monsters and all that come at you. You've got specific weak points for specific enemies that you've got to shoot to get, well, better use of your ammunition, really. You've then got get big, huge bosses, which you have to find their weak spots and kick the crap out of them until they die. And rinse, repeat, you do that over every single level. So let's cut into, well, the level that starts to show where the game is not perfect. So this is basically the problem. As you might have noticed, I'm back on one player. This is not through choice. This is the secret mini game Tofu. So yeah, it's a mini game. It would be nice to play it with two player. It's not exactly, well, essential. The reason I've put this on is because, well, you can at least see the Tofu mini game, which you can unlock, which it's pretty fun. The problem is though, it's not just the Tofu minigame where you're in forced one player, just like the original Resident Evil Chronicles, then there are sections where it is only one player. Like for example, the last two chapters that completely finish the game's story. 
I don't know why Capcom insists on doing this, making light gun games with one player only sections. It pisses me off to the point that I ended off starting to slag the game off, even though up until that point I thought it was a fantastic game. Because that and that alone almost ruins it for me, because again, I love playing these games co-op. After spending hours upon hours playing the game co-op with my brother loving every minute, to find out we couldn't play the last two chapters together didn't half, well, annoy the shit out of us. So, basically, it's got a couple of faults. It does have a lot of positives though, and it is one of the best games I've played on the way. It just would be nice if I could play it all the way through with me brother, me mate, you know, whoever the hell I choose to play it with. I don't understand, as I say, why Capcom insists on doing it. They've done it with both of them now. Hopefully, they won't do it with a third one, if they even bother making a third one. Graphically, the game looks decent. It looks uh, better than the first one in places and worse than the first one in other places. Musically, it sounds okay, so I'll leave you with a little bit of music. So there we go then, that's been the review. I hope you've enjoyed it, or at least found it helpful. You might have noticed I didn't score the game. Well that's because it's a matter of personal opinion, and yours may very well differ from my own. I'm just here to show you a bit about the game. If you like it or not, well that's up to you. If you don't like it, or you do like it, feel free to comment. Also, if I haven't answered any of your questions that you may have had, I might have forgot something, or it might just be something obscure. Again, feel free to comment, ask, always willing to help out. Otherwise, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, head over to www.vc-forums.com where you can chat with me and a bunch of other lads who love the VC, the WiiWare and hell, even a lot of other systems. We cater to pretty much everything. You can just go there, have a chat about a game, ask about some games, etc. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.